Good morning, welcome to the Art Money Talk. My name is Mo. Today, I want to talk about art fairs. In two days' time, Madrid will host the largest art fair in Southern Europe. In this week of Arco Arco Art Fair, over 100,000 art lovers, art collectors, and art professionals will rush into IFEMA, the convention center in which art fair will take place. And there will be so many people I cannot even describe with like common words. Also, art professionals will mark their calendar the week of Arco, and their work is divided by pre-Arco and post-Arco, and they work their whole year around this main event. So what I'm trying to say is that Arco, like many art fairs, are such a big deal among the professionals. In 2000, we have just 55 international art fairs globally, and we're not talking about national or regional art fairs, we're just talking about the main international ones, we have 55. But in 2018, we have over 260 art fairs. That's every week more than five art fairs, and it grows so much. Why? It really made me curious, and that's why I'm making this video and doing a bit of thinking. And I think the main reason is the steady growth of art dealership. So in the art market, you have the auction houses, the art dealers, which are the mainly galleries, and then the online marketplaces, which is like Sachi Art, Art Finder, those places. Auction houses are losing its market share to the dealers. The dealers are growing steady 4% every year, and that might not sound a lot when it's compared to online marketplaces, which grew like 14% like percent. <laughs> that's like crazy number. Art dealers accounts for 62.5% of the art market share globally. What I'm trying to say is because the base number is so large, 4% is already a lot. And especially larger galleries with over $1 million turnover per year, they grow 9%. They grow actually more and the smaller galleries are declining a little bit. Dealership are steady growing as a whole. And the richer galleries, the larger galleries are growing even more. And because they grow so much, they can invest in art fairs and going to large art fairs because going to art fairs are not so cheap. If you want to attend uh, the biggest art fair in France, that is FIAC, just to rent a little booth of 25 square meters, I'll give you an idea, it's around the size of my kitchen, and that costs over 50 thousand euro just for this mini booth and on top of that you will spend the VAT which is 20% more the application fee the logistics the insurance hiring the staff the mentally dismantling and plenty of whatever things that is associated with uh, attending such events you may say well going to art fairs are not so cheap why galleries are still rushing and attending those large art fairs and spending tens of thousands of dollars and euros in those events. I think there are several reasons, but the number one reason is validation. Art galleries are just companies. They're not like institutions. They're not museums. They can't have this innate authority in the art market. In order to hold their place in the market and gain authority in the market, they need to have the trust. They need to have the validation. To do that, one of the easiest way is to attend large art fairs. Large art fairs like Art Basel Miami is like the Olympic Games of art or art of art fairs and it is very difficult to get in and to be able to attend you need to be the finalist you need to fulfill several kind of criteria as like the hard criteria and they're also soft criteria in general the hard criteria is including but not limited to you have to have a physical gallery in let's say major locations and you need to be open for at least two years consecutively you need to also attend the smaller art fairs during the year to be qualified to attend and the larger fairs and you need to have like a different kind of artist under your label and you need to present a curatorial plan with several kind of artists different kind of art and different kind of themes you know every year is a different thing for example this year in Arco is the future theme and the program the special program is Peru so every year there is a thing so art galleries really need to keep the games up and keep the machine running in order to attend the large art fairs. Uh, it's such a challenge so that if you can get there, it means a lot and you can get a lot of respect from collectors, from your peers, and in general, you will just add a trophy to your trophy shelf. 
So the second reason will be economic reason. That is, they will get sales. Gallery owners are business professionals. They're not gonna make some decisions that doesn't make sense. According to an interview that in this website, art gallery owners say around half of their sales during the year is taking place during the art fairs. And on average, they attend five art fairs in a year. Just to give you an idea, if you earn a million dollars during the year, $500,000, you earn going to five art fairs. And that's a hundred thousand per fair. This data is not a scientific, this is just the overall number and it's from interview, maybe they're not telling the exact numbers. This just gives you an idea that how important economically going to art fairs. The third reason for going to an art fair would be the communication or the marketing or the exposure. Most of the art galleries I know, they just have one physical location and they have a limited clientele. That is to say, if you're in Rome, you're in Paris, you have those types of people who pass in front of your, your store and you have this certain a, a number of food traffic. You don't have more than that. But by going to art fairs, you meet international collectors. Arco, for example, will bring you over 100,000 art collectors to your booth in just less than a week. Not only to mention the fact the collectors will be there, but also journalists and art critics and uh, you know television channels and you know whatnot. A lot of people will rush into the place for a gallery that has very weak communication or very awkward location in a smaller city or very seasonal. Then it's a good idea to close shop for a couple of months and just dedicate those couple of months to going to different art fairs. The last reason I think is is the FOMO, the fear of missing out. So I have problems pronouncing the art fair, the fear of missing out, and the fear to attend to the art fairs. So excuse my accent, I'm just gonna say the fear of missing out, FOMO. So why FOMO? I asked uh, art gallerists. She's always traveling to art fairs like almost year round and she's so tired, she was complaining. And I said, why you still go? Take a break. You know, focus on your online strategy. Perhaps you can boost your like uh, online food traffic in this case. And she's like, no, no, no. If I don't go, I will lose some opportunities which I will never know. And I will, you know, miss out certain things and I always went to FIAC, I always went to Art Up, and I cannot imagine me sitting in my gallery in a small town not going. So the fear of missing out is definitely one of the, let's say, main factors. A lot of art galleries still go even they are not winning a lot of money, but they fear not not going because they built such a habit of going they just cannot not go however i think art fairs is such a booming business and there will be like a bubble behind it and a lot of art fairs are just collecting money and they are not giving a professional level service and also a lot of other art fairs are overly curatorial i have to say art fairs are commercial expositions and they are just they're just art fairs okay it's a commercial event where art collectors will beat and buy and shop and you know window shop for their favorite piece of art and a lot of art fairs are doing things like oh this year we're doing china next year we're doing peru and this year we're talking about nostalgia next year we're talking about futurism and it's like wait it's too much why can't we just go to the very root of it and enjoy it and celebrate the business side of art business? In the next videos, actually, I want to talk about the anti-art fair or like the alternative to a major art fair. Art fairs are great, yes, but art fairs are just fairs. During this week, I will be visiting different art fairs in Madrid. Click subscription, don't miss out any videos. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.